I remember being pretty young and seeing photos of guys, European guys, like diving deep. You know, back then, 50 feet with deep and being like, oh man, this is crazy. And I remember my dad telling me about blue water spearfishing. I remember him telling me stories about people shooting tuna, like big pelagic fish. It blew my mind, you know? The whole idea of diving in essentially bottomless ocean was pretty trippy. And then the whole idea of shooting these massive fish you know, at that age, it left like a pretty big impression on me. You know, I'm sure anyone will say this, anyone that's been spearfishing, you get a little bit of addicted to it. You know, at the risk of sounding corny, you're always kind of like drawn back to the ocean. Same thing for anyone that surfs or, you know, sails or anything like that. I don't know, it becomes such a big part of your life. It's just like what you do. I get a big satisfaction out of beyond uh, the whole purpose of going out to get like a trophy fish or, you know, you set a goal and you travel to the ends of the earth to shoot this white whale, this big fish, and you're diving deep. But sometimes, you know, you go out and the goal is to just get something for dinner. I still get like a buzz off that to this day. I really do. The general public, their first perspective of spearfishing and the whole danger aspect is, oh my God, sharks. There is the whole predator food chain aspect. I mean, you're kind of jumping into a world where you're no longer at the top of the food chain. When I started it, it was more about trying to find a way where I could dive all the time and make enough money where I could keep myself going so I could just be in the water a lot. I've kind of gotten that whole thing out of my system of, you know, me chasing fish, and now I'm really motivated to put other people on big fish. It goes from, I've gotten my big fish, I've done what I wanted to do with the sport. You kind of get to pass that on to other people, and it's cool, it's almost like your first big fish all over again when, you, when you're there, and you get to relive it, and, you, and you're part of that, you know, it's cool. There's people that, to this day, will come and tell me, oh man, that trip we did five years ago in Panama was the best time of my life, and it's kind of cool being a part of that. You know, you're like a catalyst for that, for some people.